Good morning. I am Natalia. I am talking about the utility for significance test. This work was made by me, of course, and my advisor from USP, Sergio Vesler. Here is the stru structure of the presentation. First of all, we will pass through some definitions. Sorry. Some definitions from inference, basic inference. So decision theory, hypothesis testing, precise hypothesis, and in the point of loss function, we will combine all those thing, all these things, make a little discussion, conclusions, and that's it. Statistical inference is mainly about answer handle phenomena using the sample data we have variable. For such, we can use different approaches. Here is the two mainly ones. Frequency inference, frequency inference, which the probability of an event is given by the limit of the relative frequencies represented by an entity called parameter parameter defined according to infin infinity and hypothetical repetitions of the associated experiment. That one is the most used today and historic, historically, but it has some problems, some issues, like the violation of the likelihood principle. The second one, the basic inference, sees the entity of interest, the parameter, as a latent random entity. And the laws of the probability as the structure of which an individual must express his own uncertainty by means of the priority function. In, to apply the to apply inference, we have some applying the possibilities. The hypothesis tests and the decision theory are two of them. The in hypothesis tests, we analyze patterns and through the sample evidence. And decision theory, we also had this, but the main thing, we allow the incorporation of the research expectations of the results regarding the results. And uh, by the last one, we, be able to, we can be able to represent in a single language the different paradigms of hypothesis tests, which I will, first I will pass through some definitions, then we, some definitions from hypothesis tests as well, and then we will combine those, thing, those things. Basically, you have the space of decisions, we have the space of parameter, and uh, the consequence of that, the, combi the combination of the two things is the consequence. We will get the optimal decision based on the minimizes of the associated loss function, which is defined by the agent, the research guy or something. So the greater the, greater the loss function of the consequence, the greater will be our understanding of the injury in relation to consequence. Considering we also have a sample which is defining parametrical space, the decision will become the um, 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 decision rule, that. And uh, the optimal action will be the one which minimizes the expected loss, that one. In hypothesis test, environment we we can have different um, 
dimensions, but here we will treat, treat basically the, the simple one. The, the, oh, sorry. The hypothesis is made of a partition of the parametric space. We have uh, different types of euro possible. The one which you choose the new hypothesis and that is false or the, the opposite case. You choose the alternative hypothesis and the, that is false. False. And here we will start to talk about the possibilities we have to the hypothesis test. One, the, okay. the neyman pearson approach, the philosophy is developed for complementary conclusions about the hypothesis. To, 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 to make the application, we consider the, reg the region given in function of the likelihood ratio evaluating it in the subspaces we have, the hypothesis. And um, we can work with the more generic spaces, but it always in, imposes some restrictions to the analysis. As more general, as more restrictions. That's the basic. To the Fisher approach, Actually, it's the Popper approach, but the Fisher was one who spread it out it here. We can never prove it by an empirical study that it is some hypothesis false. One famous example is the Swan, Swan, Swan? I believe you understand. The Swan case, which if you have the hypothesis, oh, that thing is here. It's more easy. The, you, if you have the hypothesis which the, all this one is right, are right, and uh, the, we just don't care how much white swans you can see, you cannot accept the hypothesis. But if you see just one no white swan, that's, that's enough to reject it. And uh, the one for the application, the most used feature is the p-value, which order the sample space given by the, the new hypothesis and the examines the probability of obtaining samples as stream as they observed. So we have uh, that context we use call significance test. And uh, one important thing is that this theory does not compete or complement the first one. But uh, in the applications, the usual is com the combination of these two things. So for you used all structure of name of person, but uh, you read it as a Fisher approach. What is a little strange because in one case, you have the repetitions of the experiment. In the other case, you only see the experiment itself. So it's strange. And uh, the, ba the first two approaches are more spread out in the frequentist context. But the name of Pisson also makes sense in Bayesian analysis. But in really, 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 based on analysis. We use work with conditional measures. Here the philosophy is, is making the incorporation of the belief of the specialist on the parametric space by means the posterior probability obtained by, by the Bayes theorem. And the conclusions are derived through the the evaluation of the parameter space is a more direct approach. And uh, that's it. The base factor is basically the, 
the things. But okay, and in the case of the hypothesis, is precisely how we work. And in this work, this work that's the focus. Hypothesis, precise hypothesis, basically when on special case, uh, special case, when the space from the new hypothesis has dimension smaller than the alternative hypothesis. To the frequentist approach, there is no mathematical shoe, is the same thing, but you have um, particular importance to the structure of Fisher, as we had a, a more limited hypothesis. And in the Bayesian approach, now we have a problem because we work with evaluation of parameter space, and here we have just one point. And uh, I think we all know the integration of one point is not a usual thing. Then the in the Bayesian case, we need to um, develop alternative criteria by dealing with this problem. The most uh, famous one is Jeffrey's test. In some books, they presented that as the, the Bayesian solution, which we will see is not the case. They basically, he basically gives um, probability to, to the point of the no hypothesis. That's it. Which ooh, it would not will be not be a problem if he, that he was the belief of the agent in question. But usually it's not the case. Usually it's just a mathematical. The, we have a, a, a fantastic word in Portuguese for this, for this, it's gambiarra, but I don't know how to translate that. But it's just a palliative thing. Uh, sorry. Yeah, yeah. Oh, we, like I said, it's not a, a a wrong thing, but I am lost. But the point is, not always the guy who is doing the analysis think like that. Sometimes it's just mathematical palliative. That's all, and it, that's our problem because if you give a probability you don't believe to the point, you need to take this probability from the other points to still have a probability function, right? So, you, you don't see the problem. The Jeffrey case will be enough for you, so. One alternative, an alternative to that is the Pereristan solution for Bayesian significance test, which basically study the probability of the tangent space is all the points with the posterior probability bigger than the biggest point from the new hypothesis. That's the tangent space. The complementary of it is the evidence in favor of the new hypothesis. It's a very intuitive approach. It's resolved the problem of coherence and uh, ha it has geometric interpretation, consistency, variant. That's a good thing, I think. And I think he too, right? And uh, okay, now we will combine all the all these things. 
when we talk about the significance test and the whole inferent environment, one problem is compare the things because they are structured from different spaces, different logical, logical, rationals. So here, what you do is define a specific type of the decision space is D0, D1, which is the decision to new hypothesis or alternative hypothesis, and uh, parametric space is normal. It's the loss function associated with which one of these choice. And Okay, and in the significance test, we also have the question of a different posture in relation to the no hypothesis. So we will present the relation, the D1 decision as the rejection of the no hypothesis. Besides the... And the loss, fun loss function will incorporate the to the analysis. Sorry, Yeah, that's the point. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. To FBST, FBST, the Madruga introduced the one loss function, which work works like that. Basically, you have the some constants to measure your loss, how injury you feel about each result, which is different from the usual case because here we think about the result as a, a whole, you know, in not only the parameter case. To to accept the evidence, you need has a, a value bigger than the, this combination when we make the minimization of the loss function. That's the result. Here is some values just to illustrate the logic of the loss function. If you have zero evidence, we have this type of risk. If you have the maximum evidence, you have this type of risk. And the point is, for the zero, the, the one, you can have risk zero, but to to maximum evidence, we still have some penalty to choose the zero, because the zero is the new, new, new hypothesis, and is not what we are interested here. Here is some values we can see how find the 0.985 is a usual number for us. Here is the, then we study also one new approach uh, pres presented by the Rice some years ago, and uh, he also has a um, loss function, which is based on the results of the experiment. So you need to think how important we give to the rejection of the new hypothesis to the in that case, you don't accept nothing, you just not making no declarations. And uh, you have here the gamma to give the quantity of the injury you feel about each, each one of the decisions. Here is the, the, the base factor. By the base factor, we have this statistical and this logical for the 0 0.05, the usual number you work, we needed a uh, gamma like in 19. Here you have the lack of assumptions of repeat, re 
repeatability, incorporation of the alternative hypothesis, and other things is interesting for us. Making the, make the comparison of the, these two methodologies, we see both have present the principle of likelihood, which is very important to us. It does not require a positive probability, which we, not all of you, but some agree is not always a good thing. It's applicable in any dimensions in case of the FBST. Has a measure of evidence, and in the other case, is the FBST, in the other case, you have the points to meet. Here we made make uh, example to make the comparison, and you can see the two results are very proportional, and they are in opposite ways here because one decision is about the evidence and the other is about the rejection. So it's normal find something like that, and that's it. Our main conclusions is. Probability approach, we adopted the Bayesian perspective since the frequentist approach work with some assumptions is not very close to reality. Hypothesis test, the approach should not be seen as options for the same problem, nor directly compared among them since they have different purposes, very different specific scenarios. The significance test versus lot function, we come to con template different ob objectives and principles besides the conclusions focus on the needs of the research and not the methodology itself. One point about that is it is strange. It's new, actually. The, the thing here is you thinking not only in, in the result before we actually get it, but the consequences of that result, like if I don't conclude nothing in that case that I need to make some payments in business case or things like that, you need to incorporate that in the analysis. Because if you do not do that, other guy will do. You, you just cannot arrive to a meeting and say, Sorry, I cannot say anything about this. Actually, you, you can, but I don't think it's a good idea, but okay. Now we have two current and consistent Bayesian tools, choose constant significance test, and um, that's it. Here is some uh, to f future works. We would like to extend the right stage to paramet parametric, parametric spaces larger than one. Evaluate practical applications for the test of significance, considering this, this embarrassment thing. I just see it. And investigate possible mathematical relationships between the lo loose loss from the different approaches and relationships we just saw. And that's it. Thank you.